a wonderful evening to you guys welcome back to the channel i hope your day is going well uh, so still on that victory against the indomitable lions of cameroon and i mean a lot is still going on and interestingly some really uh very crazy things happening uh I uh, have a few updates in this video and uh, the concern, most of the updates concern uh, actually uh, Osime, you know, because the way he played in that game, he he played like a, like a real beast, to be honest, you know, he uh, completely shocked everybody. He didn't play like he was a human being. And um, of course, uh, you know, one of the updates that's coming out is the fact that a uh, calf official actually took him to uh, you know, perform a random doping test to test him to know if he was under some sort of influence from drug, you know, because the way he actually played it was unbelievable. It, it, it felt like he was on a, on a different level that, you know, all the other players were not at. And, you know, everybody was just shocked. The calf official, you know, it, it probably was the first time they, they, they actually seen Osimhen play at that level, but we Nigerians, the Nigerians, the fans, we obviously know Osime as that fighter, that, uh, you know, diehard player that, you know, always uses his last strength, his blood, his sweat to play the game. We obviously know him as that kind of person, but Kaf apparently doesn't know this guy. And to, I mean, yesterday that he showed himself, obviously he took them by surprise and they had to, you know, uh, do another drug, another doping test on him after the match, you know. Uh, usually, if they want to go and play the game, they usually run some sort of uh, test for drugs on all these players. But of course, uh, uh, you know, apparently that wasn't enough. After the normal test, before the guys played the game, uh, the match finished and, you know, they called, they called him to actually do another test to be sure that he was playing with his natural strength and not under the influence of drugs. As you would imagine, nothing to find. There wasn't any skeleton in his closet. They ran the test. Of course, the man came out natural and clean as everyone else, you know. And it was just so, so surprising that to them, obviously, that Osime could actually play at that level, running for the 90 minutes, chasing every single ball till the dead of the ball. He was completely outstanding, and of course, uh, you know, it was a shock for Cav for Cav official as well. Uh, but it's, you know, I'm glad that they actually did the test to be sure that you know it was natural that he was playing. And of course, that one was that one is by the way Osime, obviously, you know, you know, echoing in the four corners of the world right now. Everybody's hearing, everybody's just you know hearing his name because of that yesterday game and you know the the manner in which he, he put himself in in that match. But of course, I'll just leave that update and go to uh, the one that concerns Pesero. Pesero has now come out to talk about, uh, you know, the fact that before the match, he was actually advised to drop Osime. And uh, he's now made this revelation because, uh, you know, after the match, of course, Osime was one of the shining lights of the match. And he was, to be honest, the reason why we actually won this match, you know, the, the fighting spirit, the everything that he brought into the game was part of the reason why we had the goals so see uh, um Pusero is now revealing you know the fact that someone actually or you know a group of people top officials and all of that you know wanted him to drop Osime because uh you know he he was starting to have criticism that Osime doesn't score a lot of goals you know he misses chances he hasn't even really scored much he's just scored one in four appearances uh you have you know Mofi, you have Ono Achu, these guys are informed why using Osime, that kind of a thing. So he said that, you know, he was really pressured to drop Osime. But in the end, you know, he knew what he wanted to do. And he was always, uh, you know, fixed on the belief that he had he has as a coach. And, you know, he followed his instincts to play Osime in that match. And that's the reason why we actually saw Osime. You, you know, I know that a lot of people didn't want to see Osime because he wasn't converting all the chances that you know we were creating in the group stages of course even in this community here i know a number of people you know who in the, in the comment section were actually saying why did you bring osime when i dropped the lineup in the community tab i saw a lot of you know response they were like why osime why not Murphy? you know or not you all of that but of course uh you know the coach decided to stick with osime and we saw uh you know the results that we got thankful you know partly thankful to osime's 
contribution to the game. And Pulsera has now come to reveal, you know, that he's glad that he actually followed his instinct as a coach and not drop Osime. Uh, you know, uh, the other updates that I have for this video, and there are also, you know, updates uh, concerning Osime because, I mean, the man really you know paid his dues yesterday the least that we can do is appreciate this guy he played a lot and it's not only us everybody around the world you know african legions of everybody are just you know gathering around this guy and praising him of course and you know this update actually involves uh, some of the african legions uh you know who obviously made the name for themselves in the afcon the likes of uh the jogba the likes of uh samuel eto the likes of uh Samo Agian, you know, all these guys have come out with praise. Adibayo, of course, as well, you know, come out with praise for Sime. Um, for Asamo Agian, uh, uh, he actually, you know, said, I think he was doing a sort of a punditry for, a, for one uh, uh, sports media or something like that. But, you know, he said that uh, Osime, you know, is a fighter. Isime is a proper fighter and he is the kind of person that every national team needs. His spirit is, you know, the fighting spirit that he has in him is the one that, you know, everybody that call, that's, that's called up to represent their national team is the kind of spirit that everyone needs to have. You know, he fights with his last breath and you could see it from his gameplay. You could see it from the way he, he you know, he approaches the game. You could see it from the way he, he marks even though it's not its role, you know, not, some attackers would be like, you know, I'm not supposed to even, uh, you know, mark or something like that. But Simeon wasn't, he was completely outstanding without the ball, with the ball, everywhere he was completely outstanding. So this was obviously very impressive for uh, the likes of Asamu Agian to see. And he said that, you know, you know, hats off for the man. He is the role model that, you know, all of these African uh, players should be looking up to. And of course, uh, beyond Asamangian, Jogba, of course, also uh, met with Osime after the game. Huge, huge respect, I mean, for Osime. I'm sure, you know, he had a he had previous respect for Osime. The fact that he actually won the uh, best player of Africa, I mean, that one aside. But of course, yesterday's performance again was a new level of, you know, respect that he created for himself. And the Jogba obviously paid respect, you know, had to meet him after the match, had some conversations. He was just filled with uh shock and surprise uh, you know to imagine how this guy actually played played in that level because victor boniface himself you know paid his respect to victor sime uh on his social media of course you know he's injured but he's very you know close to the guys because he watches them he you know he, he steals every time every little time he has to do facetime try and call and talk to the guys laugh with them he obviously was around you know to uh, uh appreciate osime via his social media and of course, you know, the man really deserves it for all his input, for all his, all his efforts, for every breath, every sweat that he dropped on that pitch yesterday. It was so, so inspiring. And now, you know, he's not the role model that, you know, the legends now are now tipping the likes of Jogba, Gian, and all of that, all of those other uh, Afghan legends. They are now pointing at Osime as the guy that upcoming stars should be emulating, you know, because of the way he plays with his heart. That's the video, guys. Thank you for catching this one. I appreciate every single one of you for watching uh, this uh, segment. And uh, a special, special thank you to all the subscribers of the channel. And I want to urge you to subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. And uh, stay tuned for more updates. I'm going to drop a video, of course, that will be about uh, Stanley Wabali's injury update. And it's something very exciting to watch. So uh, stay tuned for it.